Hi, this is Vicki Goff with Parnell, and I have come again to actually redo a video that I had done the other day. Um, it was buffering. The attack was really bad on it, and the Lord has asked me to redo it, but to also include the vision I had to make it clear when I saw the trumpets and the seals, the seals being up, the last seal, so... This is going to be, again, an end-time proclamation and announcement from the angel Gabriel. I received this on 2 22 6.09 p.m. And I had uploaded it prior, but again, the enemy had attacked it very much, and the Lord wanted me to put it out again. And in Jesus' name, it will go out with no hindrance. So please, let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I come to you, I lift this up to you, I dedicate this to you, Father, and I ask you let me not speak one word, Holy Spirit, that is not from my Father or my lovely Jesus. Holy Spirit, you take this as far and wherever it needs to go, and let the truth of the, of God come forth through all of this, Lord. I seek no, no desire for fame, wealth, position, money, I don't care, I want to reach the lost. I want to reach the lost before it's too late. So, Father, I will do all you have called me to do. Somehow, some way, it does not matter. It does not matter as long as your will is done. Your perfect will is done. And I choose to walk in obedience. Now, Father, I pray you keep me humble. Because if I'm not humble, then I'm not usable. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come against every gem, plot, snare, device, arrow, Every contract, every assignment, every device, every machine, every binary code, every technology, every electronic, every form of magic, you don't have no power over a true child of God. I do not align up or claim or accept. I do not line up with what you're trying to throw at me. In the name of Jesus, I reject it and I send it back to you spiritually a hundredfold in the name of Jesus. And Lord, now every demonic force, every spirit from the hierarchy of Satan that would try to stop this right now, I wrap you, I lasso you, I just pull you all together in the name of Jesus. And I wrap you in everlasting chains according to Jude 1 6. And I dip them in the glorified, fortified blood of Jesus. The glorified blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus when he rose from the grave. The glory of God fortified with the Holy Spirit. That is what your blood is, Father. Father, that you have given Jesus. Glorified, fortified blood of Jesus. Blood like no other. That cleanses and heals and restores and shields and protects. You are amazing, God. Jesus, you are amazing. Holy Spirit, you are amazing. So I wrap you up, you demons and spirits and entities. Because there's more than just demons on this earth. Principalities and, and we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but powers and principalities. Read it. It's in the Word of God. It tells us what we are facing so I bind them in the name of Jesus. I take my sword of the Spirit and I dip it also in this wonderful, glorified, fortified blood of Jesus. And I take off your limbs. You've come to kill still and to destroy. And you're trying to, to destroy those I love in this ministry. And you will not in Jesus' name. Because this ministry is founded on Jesus and Jesus alone. Its foundation has never been shaken because it is Jesus alone. Now, there may have been trials that's coming and testings, but the foundation is firm. We have built this ministry on the rock of ages, on Jesus Christ. So, you demons of hell, you entities, I take this sword also, and I chop you into a million little pieces. I stomp on you because the Bible says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means harm you. And every attack from the airwaves, I bind you right now. <coughs> I cancel this. From every satellite, Every vibration, 
every harmonica. I'm realizing Satan deals in music, so every note, every tune, every frequency, anything to do with music. I put it back on God's key. <coughs> Devil? No. Name it one nine says, Affliction shall not rise a second time. I take authority over you, and I send you back to hell, and I send all your little minions and all your spirits. You have to bow to the name of Jesus. You have to bow to the name of Jesus. The Bible says in James 4, 7, Submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee, and I resist you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I draw nigh to God, my daddy God. In Jesus' name. Now I cast every one of these entities in front of every satanic altar. Past, present, and future. In the mighty name of Jesus. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, Father God. Father God, I ask that you send this. You send this where it needs to go. Thank you, Lord. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I praise you and I bless you. Lord, you said when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard. So I give you praise in advance for bringing that standard up, Holy Spirit. I praise you in advance, sweet Jesus. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you. I'm not the, the tail, but I am the head. I'm a child of the Most High God. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise against me, I shall condemn. This is the heritage. <clears throat> Isaiah 54, 17. Now, in the name of Jesus, you will let go of my throat. I have Jesus living in me. I have the Holy Spirit in me. My body is a divine body, so therefore these things have to go and flee in the name of Jesus, according to Isaiah 53, 5. Now, in the name of Jesus, I will put this video out, and it will go forth unhindered. Now, Father, let your perfect will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And I pray that the convicting fire of the Holy Spirit goes forth upon every ear and every eye. Or if it comes in contact with this in any way. Because in the end, it's all about souls. You being glorified, Lord. And souls reaching the lost. I give you praise, Lord. I give you praise. Pray with me a moment. Thank you, Lord, for water. <coughs> Again. Bear with me to move this a moment so I don't drop my. This was a visit from Gabriel on 2 at 6 09 p.m. But a few months ago, I had had a vision, an awake dream, a vision, however you want to call it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was wide awake and I've been praying. And I saw the trumpets when the angels sound the trumpets. And when I say them all, when this occurred in the, in the vision that I had, they came all up to stand up at the same time. They all came up together. Four sounded off the same time. One, two, three, four. And then the other three were separate. But after they sounded off, it, what I call, activated the seven thunders. And then I saw that happen. And because in, in this in this visitation, I had talked to Gabriel about it, and that is what that is what we're talking about. And I want to make that clear. <laughs> I asked the Lord, "Did He want me to share the whole vision?" He said, "No." So that is all I can tell you. Again, I saw when the six seals are open, and then the seventh seal, there's silence in heaven, and then the trumpets start. I saw the silence in heaven, and then I saw the seven trumpets. You know, the... And, and they all came and stood up together, and the four, and then the other three. 
and then they had activated the seven thunders. And that's really all I can say about that. <clears throat> Bear with me. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good. You are, you are a, lo a lovely Lord. <laughs> all right. And there have been many people asked me to redo this. <clears throat> I laid it for the Lord. We are working on the PDF right now. And um, please pray. We have been having trouble getting into our website. But the enemy will be conquered in Jesus' name. And we will get in there and load it up on that too when we can. Just so you know. Sorry about that. All right. Now, I, I have been praying and interceding. <clears throat> Sometimes I'm praying for hours. And this was one of those times. And I started because I, I knew I went immediately into prayer. And I just put, I'm here. Here, my love. I am here. Telling Jesus, I'm here. I'm available. Whatever you want, I'm here, Lord. And I started praying. And then I hear, daughter of heaven. Yes, who is it? I plead your blood, Jesus. Now, I plead the blood of Jesus all the time through everything that happens. Simply because our enemy is wily and crafty. I know the voice of my Savior. But I'm pleading the blood because I do not want while talking the enemy to try to come in and talk to me too. Not having it. In Jesus' name. <clears throat> I said, yes, who is it? I plead your blood, Jesus. I know that voice. Gabriel, you're here. Yes, daughter of heaven's courts. But why are you here? I feel the holiness of God, His glory, even though I'm still kneeling with my face down where I've been praying and interceding in tongues. May I look up, Gabriel? <clears throat> I apologize. I'm being fought, but no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Of course, daughter of heaven, you may get up. I am your fellow servant of the holy God of heaven, the almighty God of all. Gabriel is standing in front of my sofa on the far left, and he is dressed in his holy armor. The same as before, except now it glows even brighter with God's glory. <clears throat> I watch as Gabriel removes his shiny helmet and places it on the sofa's middle seat. I look over to see Gabriel, the archangel, is accompanied by four more valiant-looking warring angels, all heavily armored, and glowing just as bright as Gabriel's armor. There are two angels holding exquisite, exquisitely carved bows that look like ivory trimmed in liquid gold. They have arrows already pointed, posed to shoot, if needed. Excuse me. And they are on high alert status. One is light brown headed, and the other hair, hair is almost a dull copper in color. Next to them is a dark-headed angel holding a long lance, and the other angel is holding it, excuse me, a harbinger, a battle axe. Excuse me. <clears throat> God, please touch me. Each angel has a mighty sword, including the angel Gabriel. I see Gabriel glance over to my right, and he gives a slight nod. I turn and I see Mornisha, my guardian angel, nod back to him with a genuine, warm smile. Daughter of heaven of the Most High God, I bring you greetings from the Father, our Creator, the great God Jehovah, and His Son, your beloved, the risen Lamb. I nodded to him while asking my lovely Jesus, why would Gabriel be here? What more can he have me announce since the tribulation has already started? <clears throat> Excuse me. Antichrist has been crowned underground unless it's a personal message. It is both an official declaration and a personal matter. Please hear Gabriel and then your questions will be answered that need to be answered. Jesus replied, Yes, Jesus, my love. Gabriel's blue eyes shine with seriousness, yet tender compassion, when he looks, looks me in the eyes. Daughter of heaven, of the Most High. Yes, Gabriel, please go ahead. I notice there is almost a cloudy look in the room, and I feel the presence. 
and my lovely Jesus so strong. I watch as Gabriel once again, as in prior times, removes a scroll from a holder on his armored belt. I'm not sure how it unlatches, but he removes it in one quick movement of his hands. He seems to be moving with greater speed and agility than before. Gabriel looked up at me and smiled. Yes, daughter of the Most High, our speed and agility has been increased <clears throat> by your prayers and other faithful children of the risen Lamb. Thank you, Jesus, I replied, grateful. Our prayers are being answered. I see the scroll is in a container this time. It's smooth and black with the ends made of a burnished gold, intricately carved, and golden tassels on each of the ink caps. He opens the container easily, then empties the scroll into his other hand. The scroll, I feel, is very old, ancient. The parchment is made of gold, somehow, but it's almost, but not quite, transparent. I notice the writing is in bright gold, somehow still yet. Daughter of heaven, if you are ready, we will proceed. Yes, Gabriel, please do. Hear ye, O inhabitants of the world, the earth, created by Jehovah God, Elohim, the great I Am, who is and will always be creator and ruler of your world. <coughs> Me. The time of foretold judgment has advanced to the point of no returning. War shall begin officially as the man of sin rises to a seat of power above the earth and no longer only in the belly of the earth below. Hear ye, hear ye now, I give to the inhabitants of the earth by official proclamation from heaven's court, this announcement. The man of sin, known as the Antichrist, foretold in the scriptures of truth, is now hereby given the right from the throne of heaven of Jehovah God and his risen Lamb, who is judge of all, to come to full power. With this official proclamation, I hereby give notice that the holy restrainer, holy name, the holy restrainer of heaven, shall hereby depart from this earth and return to his rightful place in the halls of heaven. You are hereby being notified that the time of the wrath of the Lamb shall follow shortly after the removal of the holy restrainer. This is also the final notice from the risen Lamb, the Savior of this world, for His bride to get their lives in order and have His Spirit examine your hearts and reveal to you if you have sin in your lives so you will not miss His long-awaited return. Hear ye, hear ye, ye sinners and saints, Hear ye now. This is one of the few remaining times of repentance left for your world. Repent now while you can. I hereby, on orders of the risen Lamb, Jesus the Christ, Son of the Most High, Living God, Jehovah, <clears throat> who rules in love, justice, and holy righteousness. Excuse me. Thank you, Lord. Hereby, excuse me, Jehovah who rules in love, justice, and holy righteousness, give the official announcement of his imminent return. <clears throat> the God of all heaven has sent notice to his son, the risen lamb, that the time is upon this world. Jesus, Jesus, Daughter, please listen. Yes, my love, I'm sorry, I was excited. I hear your laughs I hear you laugh softly, Jesus. I'm excited too, little daughter, but you must let Gabriel complete the official announcement of Heaven's Court. Oh yes, Gabriel, I'm sorry. 
Gabriel smiles briefly at me, then nods his head, and begins reading again as he further unrolls the ancient scroll. After the restrainer is removed, the man of sin of perdition will then be given the power over the saints of God, those who fail to have their garments spotless, and those who are yet to come. Accommodations of safety have been officially declared to allow those who will be obedient to be led to safe havens in your world, places where Jehovah God, ruler of all, and his blessed Son, the risen Lamb, who gave his life for humanity, mankind, can and will be worshipped freely up to a point of a time in which I call all of mine by way of death off the earth. <clears throat> this is also hereby to notify the inhabitants that heaven's end time two witnesses are officially moved into their positions. The risen lamb has been preparing each after they were offered and accepted this position, even knowing the even knowing the end result is death at the hands of Antichrist forces. Excuse me. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Your seals have been open and shall remain open. Mine is the seventh in which the silence of heaven has already come to pass. Each seal shall remain open until over time that seal has completely been fulfilled. The great God Jehovah who rules with wisdom, knowledge, and holy purity advises the inhabitants to take heed to this announcement and not cast it aside because of your own beliefs or teachings on the holy scriptures of truth, professing to understand and know them better than he who had them written by his Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Hereby you are warned that the seals have been opened and the seven trumpets have sounded and their woes and troubles shall descend your world in the order the God of heaven declares them for all who for all were sounded in unison together as the beloved John saw when here in heaven but having to transcribe what he was seeing put an order to them when there was no certain order to re to record. This is what I was telling you. I saw all seven of them come up together. Stand up and get ready. Four sounded together. And then the three. But when he said they all come in unison. That's what he's talking about. They all lined up and were prepared. This information is given to you out of love. From the God of heaven. The earth. And it's and its inhabitants of mankind to bring them understanding and hereby stopping the enemy Satan of bringing confusion to the minds of his beloved little children. Gabriel the vision I had of the seven trumpets being sounded all at the same time and also the seven thunders sounding showed the angels stepping forth at the same time and sounding the trumpets mostly together. Yes, daughter of heaven, this is how it did so transpire in heaven's halls and courts. This is also how the spirit of Adam was able to be released already to possess the man of sin. I understand. O inhabitants of the earth and above in the heavens and beneath the crust of this is your official announcement from heaven's court that war shall proceed unhindered. The holy restrainer, restrainer is being removed, allowing the man of sin to assume full power above the earth and not only beneath the ground, and that the seven seals and trumpets have been opened, which activated the seven thunders uttered in heaven by the risen Lamb. Woes upon woes has come to your world, the earth. This is also your official notice. 
<clears throat> that the timing of the risen Lamb, Jesus, Son of Jehovah God, his God's return is now, and the marriage supper, the grand feast, is now completely ready for those of his bride. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think you blood more. For those of his bride that are ready in the spotless white garments and are happily awaiting his return. This official proclamation and heavenly notices are effective immediately upon my announcing it in my official capacity of heavenly messenger to you, daughter of heaven's earth. You, excuse me, to you, daughter of heaven, earth representative of heaven's courts. <clears throat> With this being read out loud, I watch as Gabriel rolls the scroll tightly up, then places it again back into his container, where he refastens it in his belt. Then he turns his blue eyes upon my face. Okay, he gives me a personal message, and I cannot share that. Now, beloved daughter of the risen Lamb and Jehovah God, we must leave you now. Gabriel, am I to share your proclamation tonight or tomorrow? No, beloved daughter, not until all these things have fully transpired. Yes, I understand. That was some of the things he was telling me in the personal message. And then I said... <clears throat> Thank you, Gabriel. Bye. Bye, beloved daughter of heaven. Now they are gone with only the four remaining angels that have been my constant companion for quite a while now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. The um, verses that he gave me, again, he gave me some, and then he, then he gave me partial part of the verses, and I had to look those up, and I'll tell you the differences. Amos 3, 7. These are the ones he gave me right off. Revelation 22, 6. Revelation 11, 3 through 14. Zechariah 4, 2 through 5. 11 through 14. Daniel 9, 26 through 27. Daniel 7, 7 through 8. 15 through 28. Revelation 19, 7 through 9, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 17, 1 Thessalonians 5, <coughs> excuse me, 2, 4, 9 through 10, and 24. That's 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 2, 4, 9 through 10, and 24. Revelation chapter 6, 8, 9 and 10. Revelation 11, 15 through 19. Daniel 9, 21. 2 Peter 3, 9 through 13. And then these are the ones he gave me partial verses and I look them up because I didn't know where they were. 2 Thessalonians 2, 1 through 10. Matthew 24, 13. Matthew 25, 10. Matthew 24, Verse 21 and then 29 through 31. Excuse me. <clears throat> we find in, in our Bible. All this is written in Revelation. And I know many people that are, are scared of the book of Revelation. <clears throat> the divine revelation of Jesus Christ is what it is. We're not to fear. We're, we have not been given a spirit of fear. We should not fear anything from God. Anything. If something is causing you to fear or something that you, you feel like God is going to have you do, you might have a little intimidation or trepidation, but you don't stay in fear because God is with you and he will help you. I feel like I need to look. And just read <clears throat> that seventh seal, what he's talking about. Holy Spirit, leave me.
Yeah, verse 7. Chapter 8, when it talks about the seventh seal, when it's open, the trumpets are part of the seventh seal, but the first part <coughs> excuse me chapter 8, verse 1 which this is in the chapters it said and when he had opened the seventh seal there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour Let me just get away. So that part would be the part that's completed. And my understanding is once the scrolls are opened until, or the seals are. <coughs> Father God, in the name of Jesus. For the water, Lord. When the seals are open, they are left open. The trumpets are open, they are left open. Not one has completed everything happened and, and didn't go to the next. They sound different. But they're left open until they finish. <coughs> it's like when it talks about the horsemen. All that death. That doesn't mean that all that happens before these other things happen. It's, that's, that's a toll. That's a lot of people that's going to die. Please pray about these things. Don't take my word. Don't take my word. Lay him before the Lord and ask the Lord. But ask him for the truth. And if he starts telling you something that you've been taught different, lay it before him. Ask him to show you the truth. Through your word. In your word. In the word of God. He's a good God. Ask and you shall receive. Jeremiah 33, 3 says, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things that thou knewest not. We have to be prayed up. We have to be ready. We are in tribulation days. Jesus is getting ready to come. Antichrist is getting ready to, to come to full power above ground. And so many of our brothers and sisters are still sleeping. In denial. Their head stuck in the ground. Telling us we're all foolish. I know the voice of my Savior. And you know if it was just one or two people. As they say crying wolf. It's not. And I'm hearing, I'm hearing from the church, from the bride, Jesus, come, come, Lord, come. It says in Daniel 7.25, it originally said that he would be given power to try to wear out the patience of the saints. That's why you're being attacked on every side. But greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And it says, he, he will never leave you nor forsake you. He will go with you all the way. When your family abandons you, when your friends abandon you, when your government rises against you, when, when all hell assails, Jesus is right there. He is before you, he is behind you, and he is around you. And his blood covers you if you stay in his will. Now you can pray to have your family covered, even lost loved ones. And God will honor that. Because he is merciful to his children. He's full of compassion and tender love and mercy. But there comes a time when he's done. When he restrains his mercy. And for those that say that's not God. What do you think happened when Noah's Ark happened? When the flood came. And destroyed the earth except for those eight souls. What do you think happened on Sodom and Gomorrah? When God rained down fire. With brimstone and burned up those cities. He was done. It's what I call my done spot. And God is done. No more mercy granted there. But as a child of God that mercy is everlasting. And that love. 
is unconditional and everlasting. And with that being said, if you don't know the love of Jesus, even if you know of God and you know of Jesus or you love God, you have to love, you have to accept Jesus as your Savior to get into heaven. And for your prayers to be answered to God, to be heard by God, you have to go through Jesus. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the new covenant, the grace covenant. His sacrifice was enough. When he was done, he sat down by the Father's right side saying everything was done that needed to be done. Everything was completed to perfection for us. For us, our lovely Jesus. So if you don't know him, please, I beg you, this world's about to explode. I beg you, please accept Jesus as your Savior. I'm not just saying this for, I'm saying this because I care. I care where you end, where you end up in your eternity. So please, say, dear Jesus, forgive me of my sin. And sin is anything bad that goes against the nature of God, like you know, cheating, stealing, adultery, homosexuality, lying, all these things, morally wrong, are sin. So, Father, in Jesus' name, hear our prayer. Dear Jesus, I ask you forgive me of my sin. I ask that you wash me clean. I do believe that you came to earth as a baby born of a virgin. And I do believe that you are the Son of God, the living Son of God, of the living God, Jehovah. And I do believe that you rose from the dead. And through that sacrifice, through the giving of your life, you shed your blood for me so I could be saved. I could be washed and I could be clean. So wash me clean, Jesus. I accept you as my Lord and Savior, my Master, my everything. I accept you right now. And I make this official declaration. You are my Savior, my Lord, my God. And you will keep me and protect me. In Jesus' name I pray. And it's that simple. It's that simple. And I would implore you that if you have anybody, any church, good church, pray, start praying, start reading your Bible. Uh, get a good Bible. Let the Lord pray and let Him read you. Now, I prefer the, the King James Version. Let the Lord lead you. Some of them have some of the scriptures out of them, but I'm not going to get into that. Because the Holy Spirit can use the Word. So, and ask the Holy Spirit to lead you. Start, if you want to really know Jesus' is love, start in John and 1 John, 1 John, 2 John, 1 John, John, 1 John, and Psalms is good too. And if you need somebody to help, to talk to you, we have our prayer email. We'll be glad to, to assist, to help you. We don't want you to just get saved and be thrown to the wolves. We want to help you. So the email will be listed under this video, Lord willing. It will be on the website, the www.mylovelyjesusministry.com website. And on the social media sites, we can repost it as often as we need to. So with that being said, from Tennessee, God bless, stay under his blood. Surely, Jesus is coming. Bye-bye.